Hey guys, Jingle87 here, and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. Whether you're joining me from my old version of this tutorial, or if this is your first time seeing it, thank you so much for checking it out. Now, one thing off the bat I just want to say, the tutorial for this hidden door, uh, this is not my idea. I never claimed that this was my idea. I've actually seen this all over YouTube. I don't even know who the originator of the idea was. Uh, it's been around for a couple years. Uh, it's just very, very simple wiring to and exploiting a certain property of a couple blocks in the game to make a perfectly hidden door, 100% hidden, that you guys can use with minimal redstone in a very compact area. So I just want to show this to you guys. Just know that I'm not claiming this is my original invention or anything. I just wanted to create a tutorial explaining it how I thought made the most sense. So hopefully you guys can understand it a little bit better and just keep it simple for you. All right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started here. Now this is, uh, I made a little bit of a nice little aesthetic entrance here. I wanted to do something special for this remake. Uh, the old version I had was on my old computer and I had a lot more frame rate lag. Um, so this nicer computer will do a little bit better for us here. So what I'm going to do right now is uh, show you, kind of explain the whole concept here of what we're talking about. So you walk into this room, right? And there's actually a hidden room behind this wall right here but I have no way of knowing that right because it just looks completely normal completely normal there's no indication there's no lever there's no button nothing right like it, it's just there's nothing here there's no way to tip us off however if you're very very observant and you look at the hitbox around each of these items that my crosshairs is hovering over you'll see how as I switch to this block over here the hitbox goes there if I switch down here there's the hitbox there's the hitbox on that one. Kind of follows with me which with whichever block I'm actually looking at. This block right here, when I hover over this part of it, you see that hitbox went away? There it comes back. There it goes away. Comes back, goes away. So the corner of this block right here is actually not showing up a hitbox because this is something that I can click through. And this is a curved stair on next to another stair. This is just the back of it. So we're going to actually show you exactly what I mean of how to exploit this. Now if I click through here, look at that, I have a hidden chest with blocks of diamond inside, that's cool right? And oh what's this? Hey, secret passage has entered and we have diamonds! Diamonds for days, so many diamonds, so many emeralds, so much gold, it's amazing, right? So this is the hidden room trick, let me go ahead and actually take a quick cut here and I'll join you guys on the other side of this wall and we'll explore exactly how this works. All right, be back in one second. Oh, but before we do, I forgot there's one more thing to show you. Over here on this side, let's say you wanna close the door behind you, right? Uh, in my old version of this video, I put a button on the, on the block right here and then it, there's redstone wiring behind it that shuts it behind you. But I also uh, realized that you can use stairs to do that as well, the same thing. And you can actually click through this stair and there's a button on the other side right so you can open and close it cool right but it's a little bit hard to hit the button every time you'll see i'm not even there we go i don't get it quite every time because the button is of course smaller than the chest that i have on the on the other side over here this one is like impossible to not click once you click through that section but yeah overall not too bad right all right so heading out of here We've got our wiring over here. This is it. It's pretty compact, right? Not too crazy. I'm going to break this down for you. I'm going to show you exactly how it works and just give you a brief explanation. This is based around the fact of these two blocks right here. This is These are two pieces of stone brick stairs, right? So I have one piece right here. I'll just go ahead and get rid of them so you can see. So I have one piece right here, right? Just a normal stone brick stair placed that way. And when I place this brick sideways, it curves around and connects to this one. You have to have two here because if you just place it sideways like that, it's going to look like that. And then you're going to have a hole here. But you'll notice, see, there's no hitbox here. Now there's a hitbox that shows up. Kind of hovers over what I'm doing. But if I click through right here, there's no hitbox. So that's actually the hitbox that I'm talking about that disappears. So right here, it's that same one. It just happens to be that on the other side here. It is solid in terms of the game drawing it, but physically you can click through it. So that's what we're going to be exploiting. That's what you're going to be looking for. So this is our area that we're going to click through. And when you click through there, you're going to actually activate this trapped chest, which emits a redstone signal. 
and you know you can put things in here you don't have to I just put that in there for show put whatever you want in there that actually has a piece of redstone wiring that comes out here and activates this sticky piston when that sticky piston is activated it actually comes through don't worry about this just yet but it comes through and the redstone signal travels out of that piston through this redstone repeater won't work if you don't have a repeater and the redstone wiring comes along here and activates both of these pistons which either retracts or or uh, closes the door so that's that's pretty much it over here on the other side I have two more stairs and again you can click through this area right here over here you cannot and over here I put a button um, you could also do a redstone chest I suppose on this side as well but I wanted to show you that this works for a button also um, on either end here and I put a button here so that when you click this button it actually goes through and it's a T flip flop right here and it comes and turns back around outside of that the, the output comes out from that piston again through the redstone repeater on the redstone travels off over here and activates your piston so that's a brief overview let me actually go ahead and get rid of all of this and I'll build it for you okay so I'm gonna get rid of this I'll be right back stick with me I'll show you exactly how it works you're gonna build it step by step all right be back in one second and we're back all right so I went ahead and tore down everything here tore down the two blocks that we're gonna be using for our door so that's all gonna come back so don't worry uh, right now I'm just gonna start by laying down some lime wool that's the block that I use kind of as my placement block so it can be any kind of block though all of these things can be any kind of block the stairs the wall like whatever and I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more about that in a moment but over here you want to look at where your curved stair is that you're gonna be clicking through measure one away and then place this down right here that's gonna be where your chest is going to sit on top of so you'll set your chest down just like that Then you're gonna place lime wool down here and then redstone right behind it okay so that's gonna come out from there and power that redstone now if you want to go the button route like I mentioned on this one you can you can do either one you can do the button or you can do the chest you are just kinda of gonna place it like that and it'll do the same thing it'll activate that and power that straight out of there right and then on into the piston we're just gonna use the trap chest because I think that's easier to click through on this end though on the on the door behind it in the back here you cannot use a trap chest because that doesn't emit the right kind of signal for this to work because we don't have one of these contraptions with the sticky piston in here so you have to use a button over here just know that if you're gonna put the button behind the wall you have to use a button on the back not a trap chest if you're gonna put a button on the other side of the wall you can do that too no worries just pl place it right there on that wall and make that a solid brick okay hopefully that's not too confusing the next thing you want to do after we have this contraption set up is you want to place a sticky piston facing upward and then lime wool on top of that right okay and then you want to place some lime wool going like this just like that the next thing you want to do is place this redstone repeater here because and then redstone wiring coming out of that because now when you activate this it's going to power that piston over there and it's raining all right we're back sorry about that just cleared the weather made it daytime again as well okay so when you power this it powers that piston over there which activates the redstone signal coming out from the repeater on the side over here and sends it back through to this direction and this is where our pistons are going to go right so we're gonna place pistons just like that okay now we're going to place down the bricks that we want to use to kind of close off our wall here that's gonna be our hidden door and let's head around over to the other side okay so now when you activate it that's it it's going to open and close it just like that boom just like that so everything worked as planned the wiring has to be at this level because it's this is the level that it's able to power both pistons at if it's too low down here it's not going to power the top one if it's too high it's not going to power the bottom one so make sure your redstone wiring stays at this level for this contraption build this exactly as is make sure it's a sticky piston make sure it's a trap chest make sure it's a repeater the repeater is just on the standard default delay don't change any of those settings or anything make sure you put a block on top of the piston all of that good stuff and that is it now for the wiring to come out of this T flip flop we're gonna whoops we're going to go over this direction just like that and we're gonna make it one over here we're going to place the button right here right because that's the other side of where we can click through and then we're gonna just put some simple redstone down just like that and loop this back through to the same intersection here 
Now, whenever I click the button, and let's say if I'm on the other side, I want to click through and I can click this button. It does the same thing. It activates that line of redstone wiring. Well, it powers that piston. Sends the signal back out through here and back to open our pistons. Or to activate our pistons, rather. I can do that as many times as I want. It's going to either open or close it through that T flip flop. So perfect, right? And if you, instead of doing like the click through, let's say you don't want to do that and you just want to make these solid blocks, right? Uh, here, let me go through on the other side here. Let's say you just want to do that. You want to just put a solid block there, put a button there, okay? And we're going to back out over here, close that up. The only difference that you would want to do is just run the lime, or, well, the, the lime wool or whatever you're using and the wiring of redstone straight up to the wall up to the other side of this block here where you have that button. And that's it. That's going to do the exact same thing. It's going to open and close it for you. Let's go ahead and open that just to show you when we click it there. Boom. Opens and closes that way as well. Right? Oh, I just... <laughs> I clicked through the wall and I got rid of my chest. That's hilarious. There we go. Cool. So that's it. Opens and closes like that. You can use this kind of wiring over here if you want to. You can put a button down, whatever works. So that is the final wiring. All right, now let me show you guys just one more thing about this and just a little bit more about customization. Now I use stone bricks in my example, but over here I wanted to show you, you can use any kind of brick. Nether brick, actual bricks, cobblestone. You can use quartz bricks, sandstone, red sandstone, any type of wood. Right, any of these will work. You can click through any of these. I'm gonna use the same property. Which one did I use? There we go. And just to show you, you can click through any of these. And again, it's the same thing, right? Stairs placed this way, another stair placed sideways so that you have the curved stair that you can click through in that section. So no matter what type of place you're trying to build, you can use any of these stairs to make it work. Also, not only does it work with a chest, it works with a button behind any one of these. They all work exactly the same. I built each and every one of these. I'm not going to test every one of them, but uh, if you really don't believe me, try it yourself. <laughs> See if it works, because I guarantee you it will work. So you can click through any one of these. There you go. And you can click that button. You can click the chest. Any of those will work. So remi remember that you can use any of those. There's a, it's a nice way to customize it. Also, one thing that I should mention that I didn't mention, let me just power down here real quick. I'll use the stairs to show you. So right now I've used the stairs this way, right? So I have stair and then a sideways stair like that. If I wanted to, I could even do it in another way. I could use the stairs like this. So if I go like this and then I turn sideways like that, it can turn sideways that way also. And now I can click through here. So you can use either one. It really doesn't matter. Help yourself to whatever way you want to use it. That's how you can customize this. That's how you can make it your own. So hopefully this made sense. If you guys have any questions, ask me in the description below. I will try to answer them as much as I can. Let's put these back in here too. This can also be a nice way to store items too. You can literally just utilize this trick without any of the wiring. If you just want to hide a chest behind a wall, it can be used for that too. And then you can store your items in it just like that. So yeah. Pretty cool, right? Not too bad. Hopefully that wasn't too hard and you guys uh, enjoyed it, made sense. Uh, if you guys have any more questions, again, just please do put it in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. Hopefully that made sense. Hopefully I didn't forget anything. If so, I'll do my best to put that in the, in the uh, description for my video below. Um, I'm currently on version 1.8.8 of Minecraft and this has worked since 1.6, I believe. So it's, it's worked for a very long time and I think it will still continue to work. Uh, it's just pretty basic redstone so that's it guys uh, if you have any questions let me know again i didn't claim that this is my design or anything i just wanted to show you a tutorial to explain it uh, in a way that i felt was pretty easy to understand hopefully you guys thought so too let me know with a like or a comment below if this made sense to you if you have any questions let me know we'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much for checking out my channel have a great day